23 Main Street in East Haven was built in 1706. In fact, it is one of the oldest buildings in Connecticut, and today it houses Transylvania Restaurant. Transylvania Restaurant introduces diners to the culture and cuisine of Romania in a fun and tasty way. Transylvania Lina speaking, how may I help? My name is Alina Kerdorariu. I'm the owner of Transylvania Restaurant and Bar in East Haven. And today we're gonna make Hungarian chicken paprikash. Half of my family being Hungarian, we're gonna use my grandma's recipe, which is 100 years old. So we're gonna start with a little bit of oil here. And now we're gonna have to add the onions and red peppers, the mix that we need here. We are going to add the meat. We use boneless chicken thighs. We are going to add the chicken stock now. This is a secret Romanian condiment that we're going to use today. We're going to use also salt, a little bit of pepper, Hungarian paprika, and then we stir it a little bit. So we're, now we're going to let it boil for about 20 to 25 minutes until the chicken is ready. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the spatzel, which is a Romanian pasta, very similar with gnocchi. We got some water that we're going to put some salt in the water. And also we're going to put a little bit of oil. We're going to mix the eggs really, really well. And then while the water is boiling, we're going to start adding flour. So we have to do it really, really well so it's not bumpy. Put this stuff here. In the meantime, we're going to add a little bit of fresh parsley. Yeah, we're going to mix a little bit of flour with the sour cream. And we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock. And here we are also going to add the secret Hungarian ingredient. You can see the nice paprika sauce coming all together. So it's nice as orangey, how we want it. I'm going to try on the spatzel now to make sure it's done. So we are definitely ready to plate this dish. Minion coleslaw that we make in the house. We use cabbage, carrots, red onion, vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Then the next it's gonna be the spatzel. Yeah. Now we're gonna add the chicken. We wanna make sure we have enough sauce. A little bit of fresh parsley. So today we made Hungarian chicken paprikash. If you would like to try this dish, just stop by Transylvania Restaurant. We are located at 23 Main Street in East Haven. Pofta buna! The building was built in 1706. That's before George Washington was born. Now this is the old mill back in the 1890s. Now what's nice about this picture, it shows people who used to work there. Now important about this picture is this water tower, because this water tower was built around 1890. What's nice about this is it gives you a, a, a time stamp date, because this picture here, it's from the 1860s, and there's no water tower. This is a picture on the 1900s, 1920s, and there's a guy with a motorboat, and a woman up the street who was, a, who was about 80 years old, she came down one time and said, hey, you see that guy? That's my grandfather. We have some pretty good, rich history th through pictures. If you go to Transylvania, you're gonna find German influences, you're gonna find Hungarian influences, gonna find different type of cuisine. I'm from Transylvania and I wanted to introduce our culture and our dishes to American. And also I wanted to destroy the Dracula's meat and present the real Vlad Cepes, which for Romanians was a hero. This right here, it's, I would say the most popular Romanian dish. We call them the Romanian skinless sausages. It's a combination of beef and pork. They come with uh, mustard and Romanian sauerkraut. This is the Hungarian goulash, the most popular dish we have in the menu. It's very similar to an American beef stew. We just add potatoes and Hungarian spices to it. This right here are the Romanian stuffed cabbages. We use only pork and rice, and we serve it with polenta and Romanian bacon, which is very similar to Canadian bacon. This right here is the Romanian papanash. We make it in the house, even the cheese is made in the house. We make farmer cheese, and we serve it with sour cream and Romanian strawberry jelly. If you're in the mood for homemade wings or homemade burgers, Transylvania is the place because half of our menu is uh, actually American and the other half is Romanian, Hungarian, I would say mostly Eastern European. 
With Romanian-made decorations, patio seating with a view of the Farm River, and authentic family recipes, you only have to travel to East Haven to explore the other side of the world. That's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? Transylvania Restaurant in East Haven.